And if you're struggling with lingering COVID-19 issues, it may be time to get some help. Healthcare providers are still learning about the long-term effects of the virus, sometimes called long COVID or chronic COVID. And the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin joins us now to talk about how to get ready for that first appointment if you need one. Good morning, Beth. And good morning, Portia. And this is all so new for so many people. So what should what do they need to know about this? So, uh, you know, the CDC came out sort of with the guidelines that I, I thought were pretty interesting for patients who are going in for the first time, trying to get an evaluation, trying to figure out why they have lingering uh, symptoms of this virus after they've been infected. Some people, you know, have issues because they've been in the hospital, Portia. Other people have issues and, and they've only had a mild infection or didn't even know that they were infected. And now they're dealing with things like, you know, brain fog or fatigue or malaise or, you know, body aches, all kinds of symptoms, difficulty breathing that 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 have emerged in the weeks since they got, have gotten uh, sick with the virus or infected with the virus. So they they were trying to give you some guidelines on what to expect, you know, when you go to see a healthcare provider about long COVID. And and one thing that they really recommended, uh, Portia, is that you know you may want to go ahead and sort of write out things before you get in to go see the doctor because it can be a little bit intimidating, especially when we're talking about something new and something that's really impacting your life. So maybe writing down, you know, things like, um, you know, a, a little bit of your medical history to help you share that with your doctor, but also, you know, what your current symptoms are, what your quality of life is right now, what your main concerns are. And that way you can make the most of the time that you have with your healthcare provider in kind of explaining where you are and where you feel you need some help. Portia? Another suggestion is to keep an ongoing journal of your symptoms because sometimes they come and they go, right? And you need to be able to tell your doctor how long they lasted and what was going on at the time, right? Right, and they had some um, they had some suggestions about you know what to include sort of in this. It can be a diary, it can be a journal, it can just be some notes that you're taking on a calendar. But things like you know what are your daily symptoms that you're dealing with? Um, have they improved? Uh, have they gotten worse? Um, what? treatments that the doctor prescribed seem to be helpful. Um, what kind of side effects are you having? Are you having any side effects from those treatments or their medications? Also writing down any new symptoms that you have, Portia. And, you know, when you meet with your doctor, uh, he or she, you know, and it may be a nurse practitioner or somebody else is going to ask you a little bit about your history. So important things that you may want to, you know, just kind of write down and sketch out are, you know, when you believe you were infected or you tested positive, when your symptoms came on, what those symptoms are how they're you know affecting your day-to-day -day life so a good idea is just get that pad of paper write down uh, those kind of things and then you know really how often they're occurring and and again you know I mentioned focusing on those main things I'm sure that there are probably a lot of things that are going on with you but what are your main concerns writing those down and also Porch, I think really important when you get in there is to take notes or ask the doctor if it's okay to record with your phone um, you know the, the conversation just so that you can get an idea of what's next and break down the information when you get out of the exam room and go home you know what you discuss what the main points are also expecting that you know the doctor may ask you you know we want to run some tests and try to figure out what's going on with you so you may anticipate on that first appointment um, getting some tests um, and then you know following up with your doctor what did the test show that kind of thing right and it's so important that you know you mentioned those symptoms and keeping that log especially right Right now with uh, cold and flu season for some it's allergies so really being able to yeah. you know make a distinction between those symptoms how long they're lasting is going to be so helpful to uh, for you and for your health care providers right yeah and really just trying to make the most of your appointment because I, I I'm a medical reporter and I've been going to the doctor for a long time. This is not new to me, but when I get in there, I get a little nervous. It's hard to remember what's happening, um, you know, and so really trying to stay focused, get your issues addressed, you know, and also, you know, trying to remember what the doctor is telling you, what the nurse practitioner is telling you and, and what you need to do next, because it's a little bit of a teamwork in, in trying to get you better and also keeping in mind that, 
This is new for, for healthcare providers too. They are learning as we're going, you know, how prevalent is long COVID? How long is it impacting people? What treatments work? What treatments maybe aren't effective? We're all in this sort of learning together in, in the wake of this pandemic. And this is a very common issue. So you're not alone if you're not recovering in the way that you expected you would be recovering. Portia. You said it best, we're all in this together. It's all a learning process for all of us, yeah. the patients and the healthcare providers. Yeah. Great information. Thanks so much. Yeah. All right, the time